Hello, welcome to the first Kut1 tutorial the basics. Firstly, how do you get Kut? The official way is to use the build script, but you can also get binaries from these sources. In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate Kut1 using a Mac. And for the installation, I use the homebrew formula provided by Yoshitaka Moriwaki. So let's start with basic navigation. Okay, so let's open Kut. This is the new GUI. We are going to resize the window using these resize buttons. Just a few click and then it's set. So now let's get some example data. File, fetch PDB and map using EDS. We are going to use in this tutorial 6NW0. And this is download the MTZ file and model and recenter the view. Now let's open the display manager. We can see that the first map is the atom map and the second map is a difference map. Molecule 0 is the model for 6 and W0. Okay, now let's zoom in with the shift left mouse on a Mac. And we can rotate the view by using the right button or the left button on a Mac. Let's navigate a little bit the window. If we use the middle mouse, click and center on a pick atom. If we press one on the keyboard, this is going to expand the clipping front, two is going to reduce the clipping front, three is going to reduce the clipping back, while four is expand the clipping back. Double left click labels and a label an atom. Now let's visualize the sequence of the protein. Draw sequence view. And if we click on a letter in the sequence viewer, it's going to send there a that residue. If we press P on the keyboard, it set the current residues and then it's move from uh, um, on the next residue. Now, if I want to use a keyboard to center on a residue, I can use Ctrl G and just insert the number of the residue in the tiny window, and this is going to center on that residue. Okay, now let's do some map manipulation. Let's zoom in, and we can increase or decrease the control level by using the mouse, so the scroll button, or using minus and equal on the keyboard. Now we can change the radius of the map, so draw map parameters and let's change the rad radius, for example, at 12 and we click apply and let's stay at 16 and apply. Now let's explore a little bit the properties of the map. So properties from the display manager and we can change the color of the map. There are different type of color, different shades. So for example, for lightest to darkest color, we can also change to different colors. Let's stay on a bright blue. And now we can also display the map as a surface and play a little bit with the opacity and also with the specularity, we can put the specularity on and increase, for example, the specularity to have a better representation. Let's go back to the standard line and see, let's see other properties of the map. So let's make this map more smooth. So calculate map tools, make a very smooth copy, and this is going to smooth our density map. So in the display manager, we will have so a copy of the map more smooth. Let's change the color to a grayish one, just to see the feature. And as you can see, 
this is the original map and this is the smoothest map and it can be used for a better representation okay let's move on on model representation let's open the display manager bond we can color by chain the model or color by molecule which give us just one color of the model and also use the joints rainbow representation let's zoom in out to see the feature now let's display the model as before in order to do some manipulation firstly let's change the background color so as a white and now let's change the model color uh, there are different color but we are going to use a golden one for this tutorial then we can also change the width of the molecule of the model so we can increase or decrease the, the width let's stay on a 7 and now let's delete the residue So if we press Ctrl Z, we are going to restore the model. And if we press Ctrl Y, we restore the modification. Here are a list of very useful keyboard bindings and mouse bindings for the basic navigation in Qt1. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next exciting episode.